Welcome to the next session on ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the piston connecting rod for its thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on steady state thermal. We will first go to engineering data. As we are aware by now that the material that is used for Connecting rod is either aluminium alloy or it could be stainless steel or you can use titanium alloy. So if you want you can select titanium alloy as well. Go to project, update project. Next I'll go to geometry and right click as I already have the geometry with me. So I'll just import the geometry. I will give the STB file in the link below. You can check it in case you want the geometry. I'll go to model now and double click on it. I'll first go to the solid one and I'll change the material to aluminium alloy. I'll go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. Next I'll go to steady state thermal and I'll insert temperature. This is generally how your connecting rod is attached. So at this end, I am going to give a higher temperature. Say the value is 600. And I am going to insert convection on these surfaces. Say I give a film coefficient of 0.002 watt per mm square degree Celsius and here I give the temperature as approximately 40 degrees Celsius. Next I will go to solution and I will insert thermal temperature. Also I will insert total heat flux over the body. I will now go to solution and solve. So this is the temperature profile over the body that you can see. The temperature is maximum at this zone and then slowly the temperature reduces. At this end the temperature is 40 and at the highest position over here you can see that the temperature value is 600 degrees Celsius. Now we will see the total heat flux over the body it is 4.4722 watt per mm square. That is the maximum value of heat flux. And the minimum value is 2.1 in 10 raised to minus 6 watt per mm square. This is by using aluminium alloy as a material. Suppose if I change this to stainless steel and solve once again. You can see this is the temperature variation over the body. 
the minimum temperature here is 40 and also you can see that the minimum temperature extent has increased also on these surfaces which was red in case of aluminium alloy here it is this green in color 351 degrees celsius approximately total heat flux is 2.11 watt per mm square this is the maximum value and the minimum value is 2.9 10 is to minus 15 watt per mm square So you can see that the heat dissipated is more as compared to aluminium alloy. Next, I'll go to material again and let me see what happens if I use titanium alloy as the material. You can again see a variation of temperature over the body. It is different as compared to aluminium. And here you can see the total heat flux is 2.42 watt per mm square. This is the maximum value and the minimum value is 1.4472. You can animate and check the result over the body. So if given a choice, I would choose stainless steel as a material because if you see titanium alloy, is giving closer values to stainless steel and better than aluminium alloy but titanium would be costlier material as compared to stainless steel so if i have to use i would prefer using stainless steel as compared to aluminium alloy so that i can find better heat dissipation over the same connecting rod given the same conditions of temperature and convection coefficient so if you compare these two material, it is better to use stainless steel. But again, aluminium alloy is a very cheap material and also it is very light in weight. So when you use aluminium alloy, your weight reduction is something which is very higher as compared to stainless steel, which is really heavy. So if weight is not the constraint, then you can go for stainless steel. Also, if cost is not the constraint, then you can go for stainless steel amongst the three of them. But if at all cost and weight is a constraint, then aluminium alloy would be the best material in this situation. If you observe, in most of the cases, aluminium alloy is the material which is generally used because of its lesser cost and lower weight. But in certain applications where the amount of load that has to be resisted is more, then in those situations, then obviously you will find that stainless steel is being used. And if it is for a higher end applications, then titanium alloy is definitely used, whatever be the cost or the weight of the material. So that's how you compare three material for thermal analysis of connecting rod. I hope you have understood the analysis. With this, I end the session. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.